right uh, in the last video i was discussing with you this bh cow and its concept and what is the meaning of uh, retentivity what is the meaning of coercivity and how basically you observe the magnetic dipoles at uh, the p situation and q situation and uh, the role of external magnetic field intensity by taking this an example right now the question is about two energy laws that how the external magnetic field uh, lost their energy so that energy loss uh, due to hysteresis right so here our assumption is what energy lost per unit volume of the substance that is a magnetic material in a complete cycle of magnetization right uh, complete cycle of magnetization word when we use uh, we see the picture in this way right yes. This is first. There is no max, uh, external magnetic field. When you apply some external magnetic field, that is P, and then after you are increasing the strength. So here, this is the maximum magnetic field in the intensity, right? Uh, or you can say the intensity of magnetization of the material. So this is a cycle. So in a complete cycle, basically, how much energy uh, we lose or lost? Uh, that is the point and uh, for that uh, we consider is specimen or a ferromagnetic material in which we assume there are n magnetic domains uh, so here this kind of shape I have taken just to explain the concept right and uh, this uh, pink color basically denotes the direction of magnetization of each domain and uh, this is specified that for each domain uh, we have considered here magnetic moment capital M and total domains are capital N this is magnetic field direction external magnetic field directions right and uh, theta is the angle between H and M I am trying to uh, clear this concept with the basic concept which you have read in plus 2 so for an example if uh, you consider here uh, this is the uh, magnetic field direction uh, right um, moving from north uh, to south uh, this one right so uh, if you put any bar magnet in a uniform magnetic field with a particular angle theta or any or orientation so what basically external magnetic field try to do on this magnetic dipole it basically the external magnetic field try to align in a uh, field direction so how much work basically that will do on this uh, magnetic dipole to align in a particular direction that uh, we use this uh, formula for that purpose minus mu dot b where mu is the magnetic dipole moment of the bar magnet and b is the magnetic field so here in our case uh, the example which we have considered here uh, total magnetic moment per unit volume in the direction of magnetizing field uh, we have considered this one if we uh, break this mu in two direction one is correspond to the uh, magnetic field direction and second is the perpendicular to it and this is your uh, mu then and this is the angle theta so this direction will be mu cos theta this will be mu sin theta uh, you are aware about to this. Uh, this is mu cos theta, right? Mu sin theta like this. So here, the total magnetic moment of the ferromagnetic material is denoted by the summation over n, all the domains, and uh, each have uh, magnetic moment capital M, and the component of that along the field direction will be m cos theta, denoted by I. So I is equal to summation over n m cos theta if we differentiate it uh, with respect to the theta uh, d theta. If suppose uh, we magnetic field, uh, external magnetic field try to align or uh, move by this angle that is d theta. So how much work it will do? First of all, uh, we will do this exercise. So here I am just differentiating it uh, to find out that uh, result d i upon d theta is equal to differentiation of this with respect to the theta you will get minus sine theta and m as it is so here you can observe uh, the from the negative sign that uh, when the theta will increase uh, i intensity will be decreased so uh, you can say that uh, 
the relationship uh, is inversely proportional uh, right here and now the work done by external field to rotate the domain by an angle d theta towards the edge the dw uh, we are find, trying to find out using this formula that is the potential energy uh, to find out the work done uh, so here dw is equal to minus uh, this mu naught uh, summation over n mh sin theta uh, i have to, uh, taken the value of this di and uh, the magnetic field instead of uh, capital m i have used here a di di dot b b is equal to as you know is equal to mu naught h that value is putting here mu naught and this h and the rest of the term is uh, you see here di so now mu naught as it is h it is rest of the part is di so we can write dw is this minus mu naught h di so by rotating this uh, d theta angle uh, the work done is dw if we have to find out the total work from this uh, 0 to theta then uh, we have to integrate it over all so integration of it uh, mu naught h uh, di right and uh, in terms of the magnitude uh, here i have taken this in terms of the magnitude so mu naught h di right w is equal to mu naught h di means uh, the area of ih loop uh, h di means uh, area right because i have considered here closed path right so area of ih loop history is lost due to bh curve b is equal to mu naught h plus i and uh, this was the result and now we will uh, define this bh curve through the bh curve b is equal to mu naught h plus i db is equal to mu naught dh plus i differentiation part of it and from this uh, one conclude from this di is equal to db upon mu naught minus dh that is the equation for and after analysis of it uh, we found that uh, closed path integral h db and here this hdh is equal to line and there is no area so this is equal to zero right i hope uh, the idea is clear and uh, a specific uh, point i want to share with you that uh, uh, the area of bh curve basically define the uh, soft material and hard material for the hard material hc is small and uh, for the soft uh, material h c this is for the hard material and for the soft material h c is equal to large coercivity will be large and uh, we generally use uh, hard material to store the information in computers so thanks for watching this video